Hey everyone, we're going to be reviewing another LEGO Star Wars Helmet Collection set. This time we have the TIE Fighter Pilot. It's number 75274, has 724 pieces, and has an age rating of 18+, plus. so you don't really see that too often. A retail price of $60, US dollars, so the price per piece is actually pretty solid on this set. This is probably the most appealing helmet of the three part collection that we've gotten so far. I also want to say thank you to Lego for providing the set for review. As you can see on the side of the box, we have a little badge that says 40 Empire Strikes Back. So celebrating the 40th anniversary of the movie. On the back of the box, you can see the TIE Fighter pilot helmet along with actual pictures of the helmet it was based off of from, of course, Star Wars. Moving back around to the front of the box, you actually have a little bit of a red glow behind it. I believe that's the only box that has the red glow behind the helmet. So just a nice little tidbit. Comparing the other boxes, they all uh, kind of familiar. They have a little wedge piece as a one-to-one -one ratio on the top of the box, which is interesting. Moving to the actual build, I actually built these in a, um, a live stream instead of a time lapse. So I'll link that down below in case you're interested in seeing that. So we already have it built, so we're diving right into this review. Now again, because this is an 18 plus set, this is a set that is only meant for display purposes. It has no playability whatsoever. It's purposely built for adults to have a fun time building it and a fun time displaying it. And so that's what you're seeing here. I think this is a very well-made helmet. And while I really like this one, comparative to the Boba Fett and Stormtrooper helmet that also came out in the same wave, you'll see here in a little bit that because of this helmet being all black, it really gets lost in rooms where you're going to actually display it. But overall, in its design, I'm very impressed. You'll see that everything is in the right place if you look to the original Star Wars TIE Fighter pilot helmet. It's all there. The mouth tubes, the sculpting of the helmet is very well done considering the limitations of the Lego brick. Even the, I guess, air tubes leading to the mouth uh, piece look really great as well. You'll see here at the bottom we have a printed tile piece that says Lego Star Wars TIE Fighter Pilot. Doesn't have the year 2020 on it, interesting enough, but overall looks really good. Uh, I think a lot of collectors will really enjoy that printed piece on the bottom, and it also is on a hinge, so you can adjust it. I guess that is the one playability thing about this thing, is that you can adjust the hinge. But overall, it is a very good design, and it's actually very uh, similar to its Stormtrooper counterpart in terms of its mouth shaping. Obviously, the sides and the front are a little bit different, but it works very well. Moving on to the actual part of displaying this helmet around the house. First example I have is on my Lego uh, shelf collection. So this is next to BB-8, R2-D2, Yoda, even the Porgs back there. Uh, next to this sculpture, Lego Star Wars builds that we've gotten in the past that would make sense to put it next to. As you can see, it blends in pretty well. It has very similar shaping to them. Now moving on to an example, this is a little side table in my house with you know some greenery and such behind it to you know emphasize it is a display piece and a display piece only. Moving on to another example, this is my computer desk right here with an Ultimate Collector's Millennium Falcon uh, behind this TIE Fighter Pilot helmet and you'll see there's a lot of window light coming in on that Falcon and it shows very well on the desk as well. But the problem is that the helmet being that it's all black uh, doesn't really capture much of the light there's some angles to it that reflects the light and you can see it just barely, but if someone was coming into your desk or room, they wouldn't really see this helmet. Here's another example of my side table next to my bed. Again, there is a ton of window light coming into this room and you can just barely see the helmet. That's the unfortunate thing. While this is an accurate design, it just has that issue of just getting lost in the room. That's my biggest gripe. It's well designed, it's well made, it looks great against the other helmets, but out of the others, I would choose the Stormtrooper and Boba Fett over the TIE Fighter pilot helmet. Let me know what you guys think. Hope you guys have a great, wonderful day. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.